What's going on people today? We are having a look at a video you can get paid to edit This is a very common piece of content Every single one of you watching this without the exception of even a single one will have seen this type of piece of content posted somewhere before Instagram Facebook wherever and you specifically could learn how to make this piece of content is very simple and then sell it to Influencers creatives and so on that'll get very obvious in a second We're of course gonna be breaking down micro content and how we can actually jump into Premiere Pro and create it Hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell if you are new here to be updated on all the Premiere Pro and After Effects tutorials This video is taken from the massive nine hour learn everything about Adobe Premiere Pro course Take a look at that. It's linked down below if you haven't seen it already and without further ado Let's start the video What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass course continuing on the bonus section right now What I want to do is I want to do a social media teaser now that is a standard practice when you're trying to Bring more traffic to a link a YouTube video in this uh, in this case and basically we oftentimes as Influencers me being an influencer speaker from that perspective We want micro content to promote our sort of our, our big main release, right? So when I drop a big YouTube video what I want to do also is I want to uh, accompany that with micro content on social media that sort of backs it up and drives more traffic from the other social channels to that particular link and uh, basically gets more views, right? So we want a cool little concise piece of content that sums it up nicely and uh, and basically we're going to be able to put that together through um, through Premiere Pro with a square piece of content and make some micro content. So is working for yourself better or worse? Go ahead and download the actual rendered, fully rendered clip and uh, well, you, you might have just rendered it yourself. So either use your exported version or download my exported version if you didn't export it after... Um, our previous exercise together and pretty much I'm just gonna let that fully import itself so that we're not dealing with any uh, You know uh, glitches or anything like that oftentimes if you sort of drag your uh, your video into a new sequence before it's actually loaded up down here It will not import with a with an audio channel because it basically didn't figure out Everything about it and it basically has to write and generate the peak file as, as it says right there the peaks are obviously all these little waveforms and stuff like that. So just your best overall to best practice to let that go all the way through. Then drag and drop it down here. And there's one simple thing I want to do, which is going to sort of change the dynamic of the type of video we're creating, which is go to sequence, go to sequence settings, and go ahead and turn this frame size to, uh, to 1080. 1080 by 1080, which is going to be a perfect square. Let's press OK. And just like that, it is turned into a perfect square. Then... What I want to go ahead and do is I want to right click and I want to press set to frame size Which is going to put it right here in the middle and uh, That might look a little bit strange to you guys But it will make sense when we uh, when we create what we're about to create now what I want to quickly do is Actually go ahead and just uh, Corner off some stuff real quick. Let's go ahead and get all these uh all these other stuff and just drag that here and uh, and call that bonus YouTube vid right because we want to organize stuff leave that there. I'm not trying to get these ones into a new folder called bonus Micro content sweet. I told you guys from the start to be organized overall I do forget about being organized sometimes, but it always comes back to me in the end now What I want to do guys is I want to create some solids I want to create some actual color mats stuff that I want to change the background of white basically black It looks a little bit too crazy. I want some white so it's real standing out when it pops up in your timeline and also kind of blends into the the whiteness of Instagram and Twitter and all that overall White for square videos is usually a pretty good color. So I go up here to, to new For file new and then I click color mat and we're gonna create two color mats But one to start it off with a white color mat simple press ok drag and drop that to the layer below our video and just like that now we've got our video in the middle with the white background behind it now what I want to do is I want to build a progress bar down the bottom. You guys have potentially seen these all throughout social media. They're a very common strategy. Basically, we have a progress bar working its way across the bottom here. Um, and it basically just keeps the viewer's attention. It shows them that, you know, that they're making way through the video, whatever the case may be. But before we do that, I want to decide the actual selection of the video we're going to be using. So I say about 15 to 30 seconds. Let's play probably just the first 15 to 30 seconds of the video. Let's play. What's up, people? My name's Jack. Welcome back. Today, we're talking about why working for yourself is better or worse 
and I'm pretty much going to be ticking off a whole bunch of different points in either direction. And it's basically up to you to take a couple notes and decipher and decide actually for yourself whether working for yourself is better or working for somebody else is better. Over I could easily wake up at nine. What's up, people? My name is Jack. Welcome back. Today, we're talking about why working for yourself is better. So, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is, I, you see, I'm literally just playing through a little bit, and I'm just trying to hear sort of like, where are we building the, the hype? And overall, I think the best, the best place is probably right after I introduce myself. So, people, my name is Jack. Welcome back. And welcome back. Welcome back that today so let's go ahead and chop it down there where i start the next thing i'm starting to say today chop that down go ahead and play that see if it's sounding concise and then i think we cut it off uh right before it starts getting into anything crazy go ahead and play it today we're talking about why working for yourself perfect is better perfect or worse and i'm pretty much going to be ticking off a whole bunch of different points in either direction and it's basically up to you to take a couple notes and decipher and decide actually for yourself whether Working for yourself is better, or working for somebody else is better. Overall, I'm Jack. Perfect. Is better. Overall. So we're gonna end it when I say working for yourself is better. Is better. Overall. Right before overall. Boom, boom, boom. Go ahead and delete all those. Absolutely amazing. And that basically is our selection right there. Okay. Now what we're gonna do at the end is a little bit of sound design just to to bring that out. Right. The same sound design strategy we've been using before, and we're gonna do replicate it again. Right. Um, real quick, we, we could go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to jump back here. I'm going to get our sudden impact two sound effect that we love so much. I'm going to drag it into my bonus micro content and go ahead and drag that over right there. Amazing, 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 amazing. And go here, chop it at the, uh, at the highest peak point, bring it over here, delete the side, drag that over. So it's all one continuous piece and go ahead and play it just to hear what it's sounding like for somebody else is better. Oh. I think it needs to be moved over a little bit more. Somebody else is better. Oh. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And that's just going to build some suspense at the end where we can have some text that says, go check it out, whatever the case may be. Now, let's go ahead and build that progress bar. Go ahead and hover over our bonus micro content folder so the uh, the next color mat gets created in that folder and we don't have to do any extra organization. Go up here to file, go to new, go to color mat, and then go ahead and press OK. But this time, let's make it red. Or what we could do is we could make it match the color of our particular um, color theme that's going on, which is blue. So that's sort of a stylistic choice. Now, just for the sake of making stuff match, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to get this blue. I'm going to make it. I'm going to drag and drop it over our video. Now, what's going to happen is it's going to take control because it's the highest layer and it's obviously cover everything. But all we want to do is go to position and get this 540 over here, the, uh, the right hand axis and just drag that down until it's about the size that you want it maybe around there something like that right something like that it's looking pretty good it ain't looking too shabby at all amazing and then what we can do is we can go ahead and press the uh the toggle animation keyframe button and drag that to the very end which means we've told the program that at the very end of this the progress bar is full then here which is the very beginning we simply get this left hand access and we drag it all the way until it's just off the screen like that so that it starts off the screen and it ends on this on the screen which means that when we play this it's going to work its way gradually across and we've built an animated progress bar which keeps the viewers attention today we're talking about why working for yourself is better or worse and I'm pretty much going to be ticking off a whole bunch of different points in either direction. And it's basically up to you to take a couple notes and decipher and decide actually for yourself whether working for yourself is better or working for somebody else is better. Oh. And just like that, guys, that right there is how we build the progress bar. Now, what I want to go ahead and do is right here at the end, just write some simple text that says out now link in bio. Very, very simple standard. We're trying to just literally build something that's a template um, piece. And we can go here, click it, uh, go ahead and center it. Also, that, tap those two to center. And go ahead and get this bad boy. Let's go ahead and get impact. Impact, nice solid font, perfect. Go ahead and throw those in the middle. Um, out now, link in bio. What we can do is we can get the, uh, the color mat. Go ahead and double click it. Get the color code right here. 
copy paste it, control C, and then get, oh, control Z, undo that, and then get the uh, the link in biotext and go ahead and make it blue. So that we've got the uh, the same blue as was down here at the link in bio. So a couple of those are literally just stylistic choices, make stuff feel as though it's uh, more concise, whatever the case may be. Also, maybe even make the, uh, should we make it smaller? No, 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 it's all good. It's all good right there. And then we start overlaying some text. So what I'm going to actually go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and press T, our text tool, come up here to the top and go ahead and write um, working for yourself vs somebody else. And even though it's writing it off the screen, I know that it's writing because it's up there. I'm going to go ahead and center it. And I'm going to go ahead and get the working for yourself vs somebody else bit. Bring that to the layer below. Remember, I'm aware what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and align it, center it right here. Bring it in a little bit, scale it, and go ahead and click it, make it black, and then go ahead and just get the uh, the movements, bring it up here, pop it right there, and then you know what we're going to do. We are going to highlight yourself, go to fill, and copy-paste that code in again, that blue, and go ahead and get somebody else, and control V, get that code in there right there. So work it for yourself via somebody else. Amazing, 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 amazing. Now, what this has done right here is has highlighted the key bits, made a nice title, and also what we could even do is make that working for a little bit bigger as well. Drag that down so we've got that working for yourself via somebody else. Control S, save that, drag that across the entire top, and also, oh, drag that over here, hold Alt and drag up, and drag it down here, make it smaller, oh, actually click the, uh, click the text itself. Make it uh, make it smaller, perfect, just like that. And go ahead and uh, um, watch now on YouTube. Watch now, watch now on YouTube, and we can get the on YouTube. And go ahead and make that red, and just like that, we now have the red that stands out, the title that stands out. Go ahead and center that. Amazing. Oh. Bring it, bring it down a little bit. Go ahead and make that sort of semi-big so it's is visible. And again, it's already dragged all the way to the end. And just like that, guys, we have now created a very, very, very cool graphic, which I'm actually thinking, you know what I could do as well, is uh, just drag it in a little bit and press Control D so that it actually We're talking about what? fades on as well. Um, and then we can actually just go ahead and press Control S, save that, and play it through. And we have actually succeeded in creating a piece of micro content for social media that will act as a promo graphic for when we drop that YouTube video that we already put together in the bonus section before this. Let's play it. Let's see what it's looking like. Today, we're talking about why working for yourself is better or worse. And I'm pretty much going to be ticking off a whole bunch of different points in either direction. And it's basically up to you to take a couple notes and decipher and decide actually for yourself whether working for yourself is better or working for somebody else is better. Oh. And just like that, guys, that right there is the the uh, the exercise done and dusted. Couple final things. We could throw some, you know, stylistically, we could throw a couple particles in the background. Whatever. I'll leave that stuff up to you if you want to get a little bit more fancy with it. But overall, guys, that right there is our piece of micro content done and dusted. And just let me walk through the export settings. Let's press Control M. Go ahead and save this. And the export settings, if you want the full quality stuff, same exact thing. Go up here. Go to high quality 1080. However, just make sure to go ahead and customize that back to 1080 or else it will be stuck. And then just go ahead and get the render at maximum. Render at uh, maximum render quality as well. And then we go over here. We find our uh, our bonus section. We right click. We make a new folder. And we go ahead and call this micro content done and dusted. Um, micro content teaser. Save tap on export. This is going to go ahead and export our file. And basically we have put together a pretty nice little, uh, little graphic, um, or a little, little promo piece of content actually, where this can act as a, uh, sort of little teaser in increase intrigue in the video. We can now go over here to a uh, bonus, 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 micro content, and go ahead and, uh, and play this file right here. Oh, it's, uh, it's muted. Yourself is better. It knows it was going to be good. Let's go ahead and play it. Today, we're talking about why working for yourself is better or worse. 
And I'm pretty much going to be ticking off a whole bunch of different points in either direction. And it's basically up to you to take a couple notes and decipher and decide actually for yourself whether working for yourself is better or working for somebody else is better. Oh. And just like that, guys, that right there is our bonus episode done and dusted how to create a piece of micro content from scratch we literally explored every part we explore like literally everything in here is built by us nothing is preset nothing's pre-made we animated the the bar we animated the uh you know the, i mean we built this whole video together in the last section then we animated the bar we added the background we added the titles we uh we 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 threw the the sound design here at the end to build some intrigue we put the title at the end getting the link in bio we built every part of this 100% organic and a great, great exercise. Thank you guys for joining me. We got more coming up in the bonus section. Believe me, it ain't done yet.